An Indianapolis mother says that her son was punched in the mouth twice by his high school gym teacher. That teacher is also the coach of the state champion Ben Davis boys basketball team. Rich and I spoke to the mom late this afternoon as police and the school now confirmed they are investigating the incident. Wayne Township School says that Don Carlisle is on leave following a report of an assault by the PE teacher on a 15 year old 11th grade student. The mother tells me her son was changing shoes for gym class in the bleachers when Carlisle confronted him about not using the dressing room. She says Carlisle threw the boy's slider shoe across the gym floor. The boy allegedly told Carlisle that he should go get it. The mother says Carlisle then punched the boy in the mouth and pushed him up against the bleachers. She says her son grabbed Carlisle's necklace defending himself. The mother says Carlisle then pushed the boy to the ground and punched him in the mouth again. A police report says the incident happened here at Ben Davis High School about 1.30 in the afternoon on Wednesday, September 6th. But the incident was not reported until the next day about noon. Wayne Township Schools issued a statement that reads in part, the safety and well-being of students and employees is a top priority, and we take misconduct allegations very seriously. Upon learning of this allegation, we immediately reported it to the Indiana Department of Child Services. We are fully cooperating with authorities throughout their investigation and will continue to do so. Back in March, Coach Carlisle led the Ben Davis Giants to a perfect 33-0 season and a state championship win over Kokomo. This summer, Carlisle was selected for the honor of coaching the Indiana Boys All-Star team against Kentucky. This winter would be his sixth year as the varsity coach at his alma mater. I contacted Carlisle by voicemail, text, email, and multiple social media platforms for comment. I did not receive any reply. The mother says the incident happened in front of other students and perhaps teachers as well. She believes the school has surveillance video of the incident. In Indianapolis, Rich Nye, 13 News.